money. Pastor Pastor Israel Anya Lewechi. Onwara confidence. Uzechi Dennis. Rose Emmanuel. Henry Eze. Emeka Obona and if I God win. Okay, while these ones are standing, please fear your name, just walk out. While these ones are standing, we know some people came in later. Some people came in later, but we still want to pick your names. You still have testimony over what the Lord did for you. And I send down thy glory of any year, our faith clinic, or crossover night of any particular month. I will still give you a chance. See me outside. Let me pick your name. Those who came in later, that didn't come on time. See me outside. Let me pick your names. Let me repeat the names again. Pastor Israel Anya Lewechi, Onwara Confidence, Uzechi Dennis, Rose Emmanuel, Henry Eze, Emeka Obona, and Ifai Godwin. Church, praise God. I'm only hearing five persons saying hallelujah. Church, praise God. I'm hearing ten persons now. Church, praise God. If you know what God did for me and how happy I am, you will shout that hallelujah louder. Let me hear from your voice. I begin by saying big thanks unto God for giving me life. And for protecting me something god did for me this january 5th i also want to thank god for connecting me to my papa and my mentor reverend b uh, men of god say they tap grace but this time around i'm no more tapping it i am drinking it it was i wanted to reserve this testimony for send down thy glory but god said give it i'll bring you another one our papa prayed for me after our minister's conference here and I came here during December crossover night and when I came here of all the sons around I was privileged to be the only one around and he prayed and said son in 2019 God will bless you I said amen I left the office on the 5th of January a call came from a man who is not living here in Nigeria and said to me pastor God has been troubling me to do this but I don't know. I have been withdrawing from it. But this year, I have made up my mind with my wife to do it. I said, what is it? He said, not that my land is so placed that I'm erecting my building. I said, yes. He said, God said I should tell you and your church that property from today, both the land and the uncompleted building in it belongs to our church. I want to say all the glory to Jesus in the name of Jesus! Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm happy this night. I'm standing here to glorify God for all that I've been doing in my life. I thank God for my family. I thank God for give, giving me life, even my family members. I say, may his name alone be glorified in the name of Jesus. Amen. I've been coming to this crossover night since last year. Since I started coming it, now the thing has changed my life. But so, sometimes I, I used to bring people. If somebody tell me his or her problem, I would say, come to crossover night. If you come to crossover night, the thing will just cross over. You will not see it again. I know how many people I've brought here. Even today, I came with some people. I used to advertise this thing because it has changed my life. <laughs> Praise the Lord. There's a topic, a prayer topic that I normally come with whenever I came to cross overnight. This admission, I've been looking for admission. I've been praying. For some years now, I've not gotten admission. So every day, I come to cross overnight. 
I'll present it to God. I'll be crying every time. Every time you see me crying in the presence of God, it's because of this admission. I've been praying. So last year, when they started buying the form, I bought it. Let me tell you the truth. My result is not all that excellent. I just got this admission by miracle. By miracle. God gave me, God gave me connection. I did, it's not by merit. I can't say it's by merit. It's by miracle. Because others have started getting... Even the man that said he, he will help me, he told me a man he's going to use. And he told me that this, my result, cannot give me this particular course I want. That I should go for a lesser distance. I said, no, I need the God I'm serving. I can't settle for anything less. I, ha I have a big God. I have a big God. So I went for that particular course. Do you know that God gave me connection? Eh? Hey. <laughs> that gave me this admission if I'm going to her office people will be looking at me in fact I'll be praying if I'm going there if you, if you know the office I entered ha. once I immediately I entered she just picked her phone and called the people giving her admission and say one of my daughters is here she's here to check whether her name is out Please, they say, what is her name? What, here is her printout. I just gave them my printout. That was how I got the admission, even that particular course. In fact, as I'm talking to you, I came from school. I said, God, you made this thing. I said, man, you made me go as far as you know what you Amen. Since she started coming for crossover night, crossover changed her life. Crossover will surely change your life in Jesus' name. Our Lord is good. Church, praise the Lord. I'm here to return all the glory to God Almighty for keeping his covenant and promises to me. 2018, I prayed and asked God, Father, I don't want to lose any soul in my family this year, 2018. And God just did it for me. Another testimony on 22nd of December last year, being a Saturday, a brother came to me and shared his problem to me. I now gave him an advice. So in the night, in the on Saturday night, towards Sunday morning, in my dream, I have an attack. Two men, in my dream, two men came to me. We were two going. Then another two men confronted us. So he, the one asked, this is the girl. I said, no, I'm not the one. The other one said, you are the one. So you are the one that blocking us from what we want to do. I said, no, that I'm not the one. So in that dream, we were fighting. Finally, one of them, one of them just hooked me on my stomach. So when I wake up on Saturday morning, I couldn't wake up. I just slumped down. I tried to wake up to get up again. I couldn't do that. So start from that uh, Sunday morning, being 23rd December, I have been in pain. Even when others are enjoying their Christmas, I was in pain, seriously pain, because of that stomach problem. So on that first December, I came cross over and I went that mention of uh, seed, I came out. Then on, uh, on first New Year, I came here to redeem the, the, the vow which I met. So I met Daddy, Daddy uh, Reverend, okay? I met him in his office. He said, okay, let's go to the altar. Let me pray for you for the vow. When, after he prayed for me for the vice, I tell him my story, my problem that I'm having. He prayed for me on that New Year, New Year evening. I went home. So when I went home, it was like the, the pain is over. Then on second again, the pain now came up again. I said, ah, what will I do? I was crying because the pain was too severe that I cannot bear it. And I remember that Daddy gave us a mantle on that uh, that first night. I 
took that mantle and placed it on top of my stomach and prayed and cried unto God, say, God, let this thing be a healing to me. So after all, after praying with that mountain, the, I did not see the pens again. How the pens just disappeared, don't you? So I need to return all the glory to God who did all this to me. To his name, and Lord, the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Whatever sickness you came here with tonight, you will never go home with it. If you believe that, shout a big Amen. In the first place, my name is Uzoj, not Uzoj. So, I'm here to testify the goodness of the Lord upon my life and my family. This evening, I don't know where I would have been or what attack I have on my way coming. But first of all, I want to give the testimony of what did for me and my family 2018, November to December. November, first week of November, we didn't know that my brother went, out, went to outside work at Enugu. He's a painter. So all of a sudden, sometimes we, we stay small, sometimes we call our, each other to know how we are feeling. So we called him, he picked, and we asked him where he is. He said he's at home. Okay. We now asked him about my mother and everything. He said they are okay. After three days again, we called him. His number was with off. We said, okay, maybe network. We now... After two, three days again, his number was still sweet off. Ah, we now call my mother. My mother said he's not around. Since first week of uh, November, he left to Enugu. He went to Enugu for a walk. But since three days, while well, he's been calling her, she has been calling her, her his line is sweet off, not available. We said maybe that place there's no network or no place to charge his phone. We now left. One week, one week, and the thing continues. I said, ah, we now become worried. So I called my other sister. I said, I now have a one bad dream. As a one bad dream I had. And that dream, I can't, it's a long, it's a long story. I cannot, but God knows just, what I Just tell us what so finally happened. I, I, I called my other sister. My other sister said that he would call him. After that, the next day he called me again that his number was Rito, but he called my younger sister. My younger sister said that he charged him that his, uh, the man that called him for work was kidnapped. He said, okay, maybe the thing happened and he ran away or something. Many stories were told, but there was no place to find him, nothing to connect him, nothing, nothing. So everybody was scared. So on the way, we now got somebody's number. And the, man, the person said that he knows the brother of the man that was kidnapped. So we now beg him to give us the, the, the man's so, number. So we now what, him what finally and the happened? The man said that, what finally that happened? They, after the kidnapping, they arrested everybody that was in the site and as, a, as a kidnapping suspect and they were in the prison. We now told him that so so, so person was among those people. You should go and check if he's in that place. By God's grace, he now went and says, yes, he's there. Okay, the problem to release him is now, to release him is now a problem. All the possible means we take was on a verb. So, at, uh, finally, they allowed us to go and see him. The day we go, we went, we thought that he, they were releasing him that day. So, on the last day, they said that we should, we should provide the person. They, they saw a message on his phone that we should provide that person. So my younger sister has to come back from Lagos because he was the person that he chat. Please, what finally happened? And finally, on 24th of December, by God's grace, they released him. And he come back home. Because I, I come to Pastor K okay, and he prayed for me. I came to that the Reverend B, he prayed for me. Even on, my, on, on November cross overnight, I prayed over it. And God showed us mercy. Amen. So my second testimony was this evening on my way coming from, um, from Tetulo to uh, Osuji Street. On my way, I just heard a noise. Boy! So I, I was surprised. I, I had a, a cut on my hand here. This place. And yeah, I immediately that thing happened. Everybody 
ran and I followed them. I ran inside one house, inside one gate there. And sometimes I now came out. My people were running, were moving, and I could just continue coming. And I saw one man moving beside me, and I asked him, say, sir, what is that? And he said, it's a gun. I said, God, thank you. I don't know what that happened to me this evening. Maybe that's how God, the devil wanted to take my Amen. life. Amen. 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 Do you understand what we are talking about? There is no bullet directed to you this year that will enter your body. No straying bullet shall come near you this year. And if you have anybody who is kidnapped or locked up somewhere, by the reason of this testimony, she came here and prayers were done and the brother was released. That person shall be released after this program. If your amen is loud enough, then you will receive the miracle. Somebody shout hallelujah. If you are happy to be here tonight, shout a bigger hallelujah. First of all, I want to bless the name of the Lord for bringing me down here safely. I came down all the way from Port Harcourt to join us tonight for our crossover night. I want to return all the praise to God. Well, some of you may not know, I've relocated to Port Harcourt. The testimony tonight is that God gave me a miracle walk. And I've come to return all the glory to Him. And I say, may His name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. I want to thank God for what he has been doing for me. He has been leading me far and near. On November last year, because I used to have promise and fair, and he has been, he has been, been a long time since, for many years now. But on November, because whenever I come here, I will pray God, God favored me. After crossover night on October, I went to program on November at this uh, platform of comfort near civil defense. A uh, guest speaker there, Reverend Dr. John Linus, just favored me. Gave me $100 as I have blowing blow the trumpet then that day is exactly one year my my father was buried then i thank god because of that because i have been here having promise and fair here and there from that day up to now i have been receiving favor here and there i say may his name be glorified in the name of jesus then last month crossover night after after crossover night that night on that first Immediately after 12, somebody from here favored me again. I say, may his name be glorified in the name of Jesus. Amen. Then, na ototo yam nozina lati aba because I'm living at Aba. I have a program at Enugu State with our group about six days program. Ota haiba fere camp of faith okigwe. But to be like 10 minutes drive. Motors are within two weeks. Commuter bus, 18 seaters. Just, and that matter not in my, we are eight in number. And four of us, we are sleeping. I'm also sleeping. And I'm not going to be able to get the money. I'm not going to be able to get the money. I'm not going to be able to get the money. I'm not going to be able to get the money. And the more I went on the side, the conductor. The door wanted to lock. I was pushing the door. The door wanted to lock. You tell kind of struggle why. I thank God that first of all we bring out our bags, and I am aware that now later on the motor will just bond. 
So, Utah kind of struggle, no fire extinguish. We have, I know, I feel in the man, help, 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 just like that. And the, the person that has that instrument is the person that owns that boss. Urube two weeks, I bought a boss, I have a boss, I have And uh, I thank God because of our life. And later on, the instrument and the boss just born there. Around after six in the night, more no women merora, homa no kumanaka, okwana domo, mahona haga to seven. I am asking how I gave me because the instrument only in Lanka there. We just managed to bring out two speakers and uh, some uh, and the plant and uh, some things along the road after Okigwe road, Okigwe camp of it. That first of January. So I thank God because of our life, because Yawrona here Mary, I need na Moko. And I thank God because I I saw the seed that time. Reverend B no na say with the hanky. I, I, I collected the hanky because I paid my own that day. I collected the hanky. And that hanky is with me when I'm going to that pro, when I'm going to that program. I was praying that time. Oh God of Reverend B, oh God of Reverend okay, oh God of Cross Overnight. I prayed, I prayed, oh God, deliver us, deliver us. But I'm not going to give me a more. Both instruments. I'm not going to give me a more. I'm not going to give me a more. Finally, I thank God because of our life. Who is secured us? May His name be glorified in the name of Jesus. Amen. Psalm 118, verse 17 says, I shall not die, but live and declare the goodness of God. We shall not die this year. Whether the devil like it or not, we will live to declare the goodness of God. In Jesus' name. Egerue Christiana and Delight Uzoma, come out. Praise God. Egerue Christian. Naked, naked, First of all, Mom na choro, I choro tomorrow to the office of the president. I'm am so office of the president, Kambara. So, gacha all the senators. I'm am here to do my get back. I'm came back for a year now, but I'm office and they go square. So, even me for chair go up to five hundred something thousand. Church on. All to no avail. But I need a job. So my first job was a private firm. Mag interview. I didn't pass. And there was all Pasitarani. The head of that firm, uh, Abom, I said, we will take you. I saw something in you. And they and they pass and look at your result and look at their results. But we will take you. So they took me. So all of a sudden, man, one day, I received a call from one man. Some send you to Mchuraham put an official document. May send there. Before two weeks, he gave me a call that I should come. Maybe I have an appointment letter. government appointment. So he told me that uh, I'm the head here. That whatever you're doing before, continue doing them. Just combine them. Anything that will come will come to me. Any problem, I will be the one to handle it. So, me and me, I came back, both in private firm and in government firm. Me and who favor the heads. I went meeting. They sent me to meetings, both in government house everywhere. So, anyway, problems. Anyway, problems. I am not here. They just silent everything. But I am not here. They sack the person. So, yeah, name uh, one contract I put on a government firm, in a private firm. The head of Bomb Jump say, uh, I know you can do this. I say, No, I can't do it, but I have little experience. That's okay, you will handle it. You already tell them, all of a sudden, I handled it very well. That's okay, I will give you another one. So, in the end, I mean, all these words. So, finally, finally. The last one. My better crossover in in January. The small come now, but so my I pray, say 
God, I want this small car to get small money for me. So on second, I don't know, but the one man stopped me. He paid me 3,000 naira. Just short distance. The next day, he paid me 30,000. The next day, he paid me 45,000. So, so here, here, many. Even now, all the establishments now, and when in here in those are they will tell me in here so get ditch and I so and you just go. We will do it our own way. <laughs> I know anyone problem now, they will not punish you, but they will punish us. So I say thank God for that. Amen. Amen. Here to testify of the goodness of God in my life. It all started on November, second week of November anyway. I went to the hospital and I came back. I noticed that the right side of my breast was bleeding. So when I checked myself, I did not see any wound. So on exactly around 11.55 p.m. on the crossover, crossover night last month, there was a prophecy saying that there is a lady here that the right side of the breast was bleeding. I should go out and check them in herself. I did not go out. I just walked straight to the altar. I believed I was healed. When I was standing here, I got my instant healing. From that 12 a.m. till now, I have never experienced such thing again. I didn't go for any hospital. And I am healed forever. Amen. May God of cross overnight favor you in Jesus' name. Uno were kwa kachawa Jehovah. I want to worship this God that is not just big, not just large, but a great God. That first week I beat Hororo. While going to work at control post, at control there, the bus um, I was in with other passengers, Madam Control, Irua Santa, that road, the very narrow, yet, um, commercial vehicles, Napak, Wanakoko. The bus that was um, conveying us, Nokwana, but I'm not much big passenger, I don't know what happened. But suddenly, I just heard the sound of trailer, trailer behind. So, I'm like, that trailer, in my name, we break. The trailer was so close. My mind just told me, see, don't be afraid, hold yourself, because I was also sick that period. So the driver, I him and then swerve by the right car park, but he won't have enough space that will enter that bus. So the trailer called the bus from behind. I'm at the most, just everything happened suddenly. Yeah, Koronka, Koronka, that's our own bus, as we are not damaged very well. Miraculously, everybody came out on hot. Even the mum from the vehicle. No, I'm saying no. Why did you go in here, Meremo? Where why you go to the channel now? Coco, go where why you go on the road? No, no. No, lazy. I see if we saw him in that bus. No, no, no. There's a one lady apart from the air on her own where the bruises. No, we are mum. We believe they say, come and see that. Come and say, Mezi can make three tears. Now, so when the lady email like a walk in a hassle, you see the miracle of God in your life. I want to say this God of Chen Amocha, the God of Crossover Night, the God of Assemblies of God Church, the God of Reverend B and Reverend OK, this faithful God, thank you for sparing my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for what God has been doing in my life and in my family. From October last year, God has been helping me out, seeing me through some problems because my trying times came to us from October to December. I thank God because he made it possible because October, my grandfather died. My mom went to collect the, her own share of the bill and not even withstanding that maybe this is, I'm not too balanced. He just collected it and gave it to me. I was thinking maybe my siblings will assist me, nobody assist me. But I want to thank God that that one passed over and I glorify the Lord for making it possible for that one to go by. November, 
it was my younger sister. I was just closing from work, pick up my phone because we don't use phone in our office to look at my missed call. Then I saw a strange number. I was like, hello, who is this? It was like, Ami Fanyi, your sister, younger sister's husband. I was like, guy, what happened? It was like, your sister is in FMC. What happened? She's pregnant and she, was, she has been trying to deliver for three days now, but the baby was not coming out. I was like, God, what kind of wahala be this? I rushed that straight to FMC. That night, I said, how far? I asked the doctor how far. He said that we should go and pay this. Throughout that night, we are just paying till the next morning. So I started calling God, say, God, please come and intervene. I asked him, Alpha, how much are you holding? Let me bring out what I'm holding. He said that there is nothing on him. I don't even know what to do. I started struggling and struggling, but I really thank God that one. Also, I overcame that one, and she delivered of a bouncing baby girl. <laughs> and lastly, but not the least, I was in my house on the 5th of December, my younger sister, my baby sis, the baby of the house called me and said, they, they pray. I saw that hand robbers attacked some people. Then I started praying and I was praying. My uncle also called and told me also that I should pray that they saw kidnap. And I was like, also praying. Even on work, but I have it in Nishi. Never know that I will be the one. On the 10th of December, I went for an official, on the night, I went for an official assignment. There, my sister's husband also called me to come to his place at Obibo in Portacourt. I, I went for the assignment in Portacourt. So on coming back, I was like, let me go. A guy, if a colleague of mine was like, Chris, Christian, don't go. Don't worry, let us, they let us go together. My spirit was telling me, go. He was disturbing me, so I decided to stay. The next day I wanted to leave, he like, let us wait for others, let us wait for others. Okay, I said, no problem. We came out of Trumokoro there. Let us go. He said, no, Rumokuta. He said, well, you should go and enter Moto at Rumokoro. I was like, being like a dumb baby, then they control me. At the end of the day, I entered the bus. And I told the driver, driver, because she lele. He was like, no problem. So I put my earpiece in my ear as I was sleeping. Immediately I woke up, I started seeing strange roads that I don't, have not even passed through through my life. I was like, what's going on? He said, this road is the shortest way to come out. I was like, driver. You know the year said they won Yishe. I was shouting at him. The next thing I saw, he just moved straight into some gunmen, black and black. But where I knew that they were not police, they are putting on safe ass. I was like, she you don't see him. He said, make a run. I said, no run, then we'll shoot you. At the end of the day, they brought all of us out and said we should begin to march into the bush. I was not even afraid because I said, last, last, at last, at last, and my phone and everything I go take, but I will go back with my life. But at last, the thing, after collecting everything, they, in the bush there, they told me to put my password of my ATM. I told them, I gave them the wrong pin, first of all. They saw it, they hit me gun at the back of my head, like four good consecutive times, that I even forgot my name. I don't even know. Then a guy, what would be your name? I don't know. At the end, like five minutes later, they allowed me, they asked me, the other one came to me and said, release this money. Is it more important than your life? I released it to him. I thought we were going outside when they were taking us. When I discovered that this is serious, is when I started seeing another group coming. Then they're like, you won't die. They don't shoot you before. I was just looking at them. Where I know that the music has changed, they started collecting bango, the Assemblies of God bango from my hand, collected my watch, collected my shoe, collected my singlet, collected my shirt. I was like, what is this? So finally, but I thank God, on the 20th, they brought me out and they wanted to kill me because we are five in number. They told me I should give them my manager's number after the ransom has been paid, over two million naira. So they told me that I should give them the manager's number. I said, give me my phone. They said they don't have the phone. The next thing I had now, I was like, God, if I should die this year, if it is your will that I would die, let me die. At last, at last, they pushed me behind and brought out my colleague. And I was hearing, sir, please don't kill me. I was like, Kirian, he said that it is him. I said, God, please, let them not kill Kirian. But I really want to thank God. Then, two days later, they said that the others have gone. Even those who paid 10,000 naira, they released them. But we that paid 2 million, they didn't want to release us. I was like, 
God, what you have been said, when we are come back in 20 minutes, we waste these ones and throw them into the water. Where I am, I said, God, let that will be done. The other one started calling me, Christian, are you here? I said, yes, I'm here now. He was like, where is your God? Start calling this God. I said, nah, 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 you know, say, go remember God. Then I just kept quiet. And I called upon God. Two minutes to the 20 minutes later, we just said, everybody hands in the air. And everybody was, all those group that were guiding us ran away. And immediately they came in and they loosed us. They loosed our hand and said, what happened? We explained to them. They took us out of the bush and brought us back. I want to say this God who has done this great thing. I want to say may his name be all exalted in Jesus name. And I want to use this opportunity to thank Daddy Reverend B for holding prayers on my behalf and also standing on the gap for us. I said Daddy may God bless you in Jesus name. Uh, on our Tarada story. <laughs> well, the band people told me that he was kidnapped and we were praying for him. 20 minutes to the time, AJ Buha. God brought security men and they fled. The security men released them and brought them out. No harm will fall on you this year. Let me tell you, anybody of Batranobia this year go make a kidnap. Mokobian drobre no logging. As soon as all Batranobia, you'll be a hakuinchin. Rise up to your feet. Get a good offering in your hand. Get a good seed in your hand. Solomon offered a sacrifice unto God that provoked God to ask him, What can I do for you? This morning offering, raise it up, rise your feet. We're going to talk to God right now.